Published by Vertigo Games, I was quite intrigued when I first heard about Maskmaker, mostly due to the fact that it was made by Inner Space VR, who had previously developed A Fisherman's Tale. Andrew Podolsky had reviewed that game and gave it a 7.5 out of 10, noting that its only real weakness was that it was quite short. I myself found it both smart and endearing. It had a great concept, a great art style, great voice acting, and unique gameplay mechanics. It took advantage of VR in a way many games don't, capitalizing on the magic of the medium to provide an experience that simply wouldn't feel the same in any other gaming medium. Now that sounds like a preamble to a huge but. But, I'm glad to say, there is no but here. My impressions of Mask Maker so far are great. Mask Maker starts with a great atmospheric intro, setting the scene with some wonderful art direction, great set design, and engrossing voice acting. Pretty soon it pulls you into its world, promising magic mystery and a journey to several fantastical realms that you traverse by solving puzzles, finding ingredients for crafting masks, and transporting yourself from one body to another by using those masks. Your hub, so to speak, is your mask maker's workshop. The old mask maker is gone and you're now tasked with unlocking the realms with masks as you try to figure out the mystery of the mask maker's identity. Once you have the blueprints for any particular mask, and assuming you've collected the ingredients needed to decorate it, you can craft it by carving its base out of a wooden block, mixing your paints to color it and adding its ornaments. Once it's ready, a mask will transport you to its realm, and more precisely, it'll transport you to the body wearing that mask within the realm allowing you to cross otherwise uncrossable chasms, uh, broken bridges, or other impediments to your progress. At first I was worried that this was all the game really had to offer, that I'd spend all my time doing a Where's Waldo, foraging around the environments looking for the objects needed to decorate the masks one by one. I do not like games that have me looking for things all the time. Thankfully, I soon found myself confronted with my first puzzle involving a machine that needed to be fixed with an assortment of cogs to free a body I was about to mask into, allowing me to proceed. Like A Fisherman's Tale, Mask Maker has a great concept, a great art style, great voice acting, and unique gameplay mechanics. Mask Maker also seems substantially larger in scope, featuring eight worlds to explore, each with their own backstories and cultural quirks, that your narrator tells you about as you explore them. So there you have it. I can't tell you exactly how long it is, nor how it ends yet because I haven't finished it yet, but I can already tell it's well worth the $20 asking price if you're a fan of narrative puzzlers with unique gameplay mechanics. I know I'll be diving back in to finish it off, and when I do, expect a full review. If you found this video useful, give it a like, and if you want more of our content, hit the subscribe button, have a great day. A new face is revealed, and with it, new destinations are discovered. The Mask of the Swamps. To wear it, you must be proud, love thyself, but do not allow vanity to take root. Your power is growing, but beware the king's envy. The Burlard Swamp, home to some of the rarest components. The most secret masks. It was so beautiful here once, but a foulness.